What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 44 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released in this past school year. The question tells us that the diameter of a sphere, not a circle now, a sphere is 6 centimeters, and we're supposed to find its volume. They were nice and actually gave us the formula for volume, but they did put the answer choices in terms of pi. So that's going to make this question a little different, but we're going to make it through. First thing I want to point out is that they did not give us the radius like we would need for the formula, but the diameter. And now our diameter is the distance all the way across a sphere, just like it's the distance all the way across a circle. And just like with a circle, my radius is going to be half my diameter, so 3. It'll be the same thing for the sphere, which means that now I can plug in 3 for my radius. And at this point, I'm actually going to just ignore pi when I type this in my calculator, since all my answers had numbers that were being multiplied by pi. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to find 4 thirds times 3 cubed. And this little caret button here is how my calculator reads an exponent. And 4 thirds times 3 cubed, it gives me, is 36. Which means that 4 thirds r cubed was 36. So 4 thirds pi r cubed should be 36 times pi. Now again, the big trick with this was um, learning to ignore pi and just going ahead and finding the rest of this stuff without pi first and then knowing that we can multiply it by pi later on.